Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we began our discussion on monetary policy with a look at one of its key components and how it relates to trading interest rates. In today's lesson we're going to continue our discussion on interest rates and introduce the institution that's responsible for implementing monetary policy, the Federal Reserve. So let's get started. Okay, so as we saw in our example yesterday, small movements in interest rates can have dramatic effects on the economy. Just as small changes in interest rates can dramatically increase the cost for individuals to own a home or borrow money to purchase other goods, they can also have a dramatic effect on the cost of doing business. It's for this reason that when interest rates rise, making borrowed money more costly, that people will also be less likely to start or expand a business. This not only has an effect on the business person themselves, um, but filters throughout the entire economy as less businesses being started and expanding. Uh, and expanded means less jobs, which means less people getting paychecks, which means people spending less money, and et cetera, et cetera, there. Okay, the reverse of this is also true um, for when interest rates fall and business owners take advantage of uh, access to cheaper and borrowed money, and you should see the stock market react accordingly there, all else being equal. In addition to interest rates affecting the stock market, interest rates also have a direct effect on the bond, foreign exchange, and futures markets. Um, here are a couple quick examples of this, which we'll expand on later, and uh, or we'll expand on in later lessons. Um, when interest rates rise, uh, when looking at the bond market, the value of existing bonds fall as uh, investors can now purchase the same bond with a higher interest rate. Okay, and the reverse is also true there. Um, in the foreign exchange market, when interest rates uh, uh, rise, it becomes more attractive from a yield standpoint to own the dollar against other currencies or to invest in, in interest-bearing dollar-based assets. Um, this normally creates a demand for dollars, which will many times uh, cr uh, cause the dollar to strengthen. Okay, and the reverse is also true when interest rates fall normally. Okay. Um, in the commodities markets, uh, when economies grow at a greater rate as a result of lower interest rates, um, this is normally going to mean greater demand for commodities. So their value will, tend, will uh, you know, the value of things like oil and things like that will will tend to rise, and that's important to traders of those markets. Okay, we're going to get into more specifics on each of these examples in a series of lessons, which will be devoted to individual markets. So if you don't understand this part, um, don't worry at this stage. I'm simply giving these examples here to help further demonstrate the effect that interest rates have. Um, now that we understand the importance of interest rates to economic growth and therefore the markets and our own trading, the next thing to understand is how this relates to our discussion of the government's role in the economy. As we've learned in previous lessons, the government has two options when trying to influence the business cycle to keep prices stable and work towards full employment. The first, which we've already discussed is, discussed, is fiscal policy or exerting control over government spending and taxation to try and influence the business cycle. The second and perhaps most important to us as, as traders is monetary policy, which is exerting control over the money supply, which has, direct, um, which has a direct relationship with interest rates, also with the goal of influencing the economy and the business cycle. With this in mind, the Federal Reserve, or Fed as it's often called, is the institution responsible for administering monetary policy and therefore can increase or decrease the money supply with the goal of trying to affect the level of interest rates in the United States. As, um, as the level of interest rates has such a large effect on everything in the economy from unemployment to inflation, this makes the Fed one of, if not the most powerful institutions in the world. Okay, um, And you can see here in this picture, for those of you who follow finance a little bit, uh, you should recognize Alan Greenspan there, the former chairman of the Federal Reserve, and Ben Bernanke, who's the current, uh, as of this lesson, uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve. And we'll get into talk a little bit more about them 
in later lessons okay so in tomorrow's lesson we're going to learn a little more about the fed and some of its key players so we can begin to have a better understanding of monetary policy and how we as traders can profit from this knowledge so we hope to see you in that lesson as always if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and good luck with your trading